Hey guys, it's Patrick Valentine and welcome back to some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last time we failed to beat Ma Ma Maylene about two different occasions and I went off and did some grinding. And here are the results of my grinding. I was able to get a Murkrow, my Murkrow to level 32. Got my Alakid to evolve into Electabuzz, which... It's going to be remaining as an Electabuzz possibly throughout the rest of the playthrough because I've been told by, well, a friend of mine, uh, we tried to trade and apparently the trading system doesn't work. So that's kind of weird. And my Buizel now fully evolved into Float Soul. And yes, obviously you guys can see I've got a team of six. Got Bronzor, and now I've got my Grottle to Torterra. And you guys are probably wondering what? Why do I have a Licky Tongue in here? Well, let me just show you. The Licky Tongue has rollout because I went to the heart. I got a heart scale, and I, and I was able to teach it uh, rollout. Because for it to become a Licky Licky, it needs to have rollout. So. The other member of my team is Scyther, who has a metal 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 coat that is level 29, and he's also got the metal coat, and he's got technician as his ability. And the reason why he's got the metal coat is because the bronze on uh, the bronze all I caught actually was holding one, which that was really damn freaking cool. And also, I decided to go on a bit of a catching spree while I was in the underground. I caught two hippopotases. Uh, two different genders. I was able to, and I caught a Cherubi to save me a honey tree, and I caught, and I also caught a Munchlax to save me another honey tree, and I caught Scroopy to save me a trip to uh, the Safari Zone or the Great Marsh, and I found a Gligar, and I caught a Gligar. So yeah, so I just went ahead and just just caught a whole bunch of Pokemon while I was down there. So the Licky Tongue's only in the team because I wanted to evolve into a Licky Licky. And until that happens, it will be removed from the team. So I'm going to go back into the gym. And I will do the puzzle again for a third time. And then we'll give this gym battle another try. With my team grinded up, I should be able to win this time. Alright. The one thing I've never understood about gym leaders is why do they not acknowledge your existence that, that you've already seen them before? They act like that they, this is their first time meeting you. But anyway... Oh, I hope I can win this time. Honestly, I'm actually... Honestly, guys, despite my grinding, I'm actually not very confident. Despite my grinding, I'm still not confident that I'm going to win. There we go, one shot it. It seems like wing attack is the go-to move instead of um aerial ace. Alright. Here comes Mokro's most hated Pokemon in this gym. Oh my god, even wing attack can't Oko it! Pokemon just... You know what? I've got Torterra who's got, um... Oh! Oh, because... Oh, that's right, because I'm in... Oh, that's right, because he it went into the red. Oh! That's really good, actually. That's actually really good. Actually, no. Um... Wait, I want to keep Licky Tongue alive, because I don't... Trying to level him up, I don't want to sacrifice him. I want to keep Mokro alive to at least steal his, uh, steal her, um, item. Oh. Oh, you think lowering my. Oh, you're. Oh, you're about. You're trying to lower my speed, I see. It's shooting Ice Beam out of its crotch! Float Soul! Float Soul is shooting Ice Beam out of its crutch! That's going to be the most hilarious thing I have ever seen! Good, good job, Float Soul. Good job. Alright, 
right, Lucario. You're gonna bulk up, aren't ya? No, he's not. Okay, good. Last time he bulked up and just completely destroyed me. Alright. Ice Beam! Freeze it? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please don't thaw! 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 Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Please don't thaw! Yes! Destroy it! Yes! Oh, Floatzel comes in clutch! Cop that, Lucario! Yes! Hell yes! And Lickitung leveled up! Oh, that Ice Beam came in clutch! Floatzel, you little legend! And Lickitung gets to experience leveling up into a Licky Licky. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Well, as they say, third time is indeed the charm. Jeez, when they say, jeez, when they say third time's the charm, they literally mean it. My god, I'm so glad to finally have that done. Alright, what TM did I just get? Drain Punch. Nobody can learn it. Why did I, why do I have five of them? Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's just go to my box. Remove Licky Licky. Licky Licky served his purpose. Just to be in the team so I could level him up to evolve. Oh, I'm so freaking happy to be done with to be done with this gym. Oh, that has got to be the best. That that has the, that has to be the best way to to own a gym. That is easily the best way to own a gym. Just friggin' ice. Freeze it. I was very concerned that it was gonna just immediately escape the freeze, but thank goodness it didn't. Wait, so wait, it's officially night time now? Hold on, would I be able to evolve Gliger? Let me, let me, let me see if I can evolve Gligar or not. Alright guys, I did my research. Um, no, I cannot evolve Gligar. I, I am, I am right to evolve it at night time, but it needs to have a Razor Fang. And I don't have a Razor Fang. And I don't think there is any in the underground. So, let's just continue on. And, uh, destroy these, uh, Galactic Grunts. Man, I like Dawn. She's such a cutie. Oh man, I'm so I'm actually very happy to finally be done with that gym battle, man. And hopefully I can and hopefully I'm able to get through um crash your wake with the same amount of luck. Cause I really would have hated that I, that after all that grinding and I'd still lose. Float Souls really earned her place on the team after uh, after 
One's being used as a, as um sacrifice. Yeah, I know about Pastoria Dawn. And there's the TM Fly, and now Fly has been added to my, my, my HMs. Oh, finally. Now I can fly to places. I can finally fly to places! go to Pastoria early so then that way I can just fly there as soon as I can as soon as soon as I get fly <clears throat> but there's something else I need to do very quickly before I move on I need to go um, I need to go underground real quick I need to go back to like I need to go back to Eternity City, go underground and find myself a crow gunk because that way it's easier for me. Oh, oh wait, I know what I need to do. I got a friggin' fossil, so let's go to um, Orangeburg first. <clears throat> Get my cra I can finally get my I can finally get my crane dudes I like crane dudes he's probably the coolest he crane dose has got to be the cool the coolest of um, of all the fossils. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, my little cranny dose. Oh wow, it's level one. Oh wow, they really changed. They really changed it, didn't they? Jolly nature. Well, thank God I wasn't planning on using it on the team. Go back to Erica City. Now, why am I wasting my time catching a crow gunk, you guys are probably asking? 
Well, it say it says a trip to the Great Marsh. That is why. I did go to the Great Marsh while off screen, and yeah, it didn't go so well. But more importantly, I was able to um, find a carnivine. I was able to register that to my Pokédex. Oh. Oh yes, I'll, oh yes, I'll take an A palm too. Saves me another um That will save me a honey tree. That'll save me a honey tree catching you. Oh thank god. Man, I get so nervous whenever I try to catch a Pokemon now. It's like I'm just afraid it's just going to break out. Alright, so to evolve that, it needs to know, um... To evolve that, it needs to know Double Hit. Which I'm pretty sure it might already have, but if not, then I'm probably going to need another trip to, um... Oh yeah, and I also need a combi, so if we can find a co finding a combi would be pretty good as well. Ah no, not a Rosalia. Damn, that Rosalia just ran towards me. Jeez, that thing just bolted towards me. I had no time. Yep, this is where you find Scyther. This is where I found my Scyther. Uh, let's keep looking. I know where Krogunk is, but I'm probably going to have to look a bit further. Combi, Combi. I need to find Combi to save me another honey tree. Also, the combi has to be female. That's another thing. Alright, well, I guess, well, instead of just wasting so much time, I'm just going to cut until I eventually find the combi. Yeah, I'm moving on, guys. I'm sorry. It was taking forever to find. But here's an extra problem with combi. The All the combis that were spawning that I was finding were all freaking male. So basically, so basically, you gotta try your hardest to find. Here's what I'll. This is what I came here for anyway. I came here for a Krogan. I'll get Co I'll get Combi off screen. I'll get yeah. I'll I'll, I'll just get Combi off screen. So yeah. So, and, uh, yeah, if you want to know why, um, Murkrow is poisoned, because while I was trying to find the combi, I ran into a skunk tank that I couldn't see. I ran into a skunk tank that I couldn't see, and, uh, couldn't run away. Couldn't run away from it, and then, uh, little Murkrow go over here got himself poisoned. So that is Krogan. That did, did, did this is the Pokemon I came for, came here for anyway. You guys didn't come here to watch me catch bloody Combi. You guys came here to watch me get friggin' Krogan. That's what you guys came to see. Oh my god! Get out of here. Alright, I'm out of here now. I'm just gonna go back up to the surface. I'll, I'll try the combi. I'll try the combi later, like when I'm off screen, so I don't freaking torture myself. Let's just go to Pastoria. Let's just go to Pastoria and let's just do the next gym. I wanted this episode to be full of two gyms, but. Sounds like that might not be the case, but 
let's just, you know, maybe go through all the gym trainers at least. Depending on how long this takes. Or if I just straight up lose to Crash Awake and then, then we'll do it then, then we'll do it another time. Oh yeah, I wanna show you guys something real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure I said it in my uh my video. But um in a video. But yeah, I encountered a carnivine while I was in the Great Marsh and um I couldn't catch it. But that's fine. I just wanted it for the Pokedex anyway. I wasn't mad that I didn't get it. I more wanted it for the Pokédex anyway, so it's not so it that ain't a really big deal. You don't have to catch all of them. Ooh. This doesn't look as cool as Ness's gym. Now obviously Nessa is Gen 8, but still. But still, her gym's but still her water type gym looks way better than this. Now it's time to fight trainers again. Yeah, we got to fight these stupid trainers once again. Oh yeah. And now it's, and now it's my boy, Electabuzz. It's his time to shine. Thunder Punch. I really got nothing to say, guys. I really got nothing to say. That's why I'm not talking. I'm just destroying trainers. What, what, what else is there for me to talk about, really?
Oh, right. Shellos gains the ground typing. When it evolves. For some reason, I thought it, it was always a ground type. Sailor posing in the background is like, look at me, I'm strong. Just keep thunder punching. Just keep thunder punching. Maybe don't show off. Maybe don't flex next time. And we are now at Crasher Wake. And look at that, I took no damage. I took absolutely zero damage from any of the trainers. But I'm going to save my progress anyway. And now we're going to do Crasher Wake. Shouldn't be too tech shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, he's got a Gyarados. Now there's only one Pokemon that he has actually counters Oh great. Well that's oh that's annoying. There's only one Pokemon that he has that uh counters electric. That is a Quag Quagsire. And down goes the Gyarados, just like that. Normally the Gyarados can be a, a real pain in the a-hole, but... Yep. This Pokemon right here is the only uh, Pokemon that really counters Electabuzz. So, let's retreat Electabuzz and bring out my boy... Dordera! Haha! Time super effective, and down you go. Four times super effective, and down you go. And that was definitely fun, man. I, man, I, man, I, man, I should never have wor worried about this gym. This gym is is pathetically easy. Well, I guess my levels do have a lot to do with it, but that doesn't matter. Maylene forced me. Maylene forced me to put to, to push my levels up. And that is it. And that is it. We've beaten Crash Awake. And we've beaten two gyms in one video. That is a really good accomplishment, to be completely honest. So yeah, now we've beaten two gyms, and now we've gotten Crash Awake's gym badge. And that'll be and that'll be it for today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. So I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this video. Sorry for wasting your time by going to the underground, but that's fine. I'll go get the combi. Um, I'll definitely go get the combi um, now, considering that I've got time on my hands, and you know I'm pretty much going to stop recording after this video. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that other jazz. And I will see you all next time.